to my videos, if you've been following me, I had a big gangrene cyst. Tried to remove it twice myself. The doctor thought that was kind of odd. Uh, he wanted to know if I was a doctor or where I got the syringes and all that, but it kept coming back bigger and bigger, and it started growing down into the joint. So I actually had it removed yesterday surgically. Uh, stupid me. I wasn't thinking it was going to be that big of a procedure. Yeah, it was probably only a half hour surgery, but all the way up through my forearms, you got to think it was embedded in the, within the, the muscles and the tendons. Very sore, but again, this was just yesterday that I had it. I just worked out. I did some stuff with the arm. But when you hurt a joint, and I keep saying this, guys, one of the keys, okay, you got to just make sure my sutures don't rip out, but we got to start working it, okay, as uncomfortable as that is. Because as we saw with my knee, what will happen is you will start to become lay down scar tissue, and you don't want to lose mobility at a joint because then it becomes pretty much useless. So again, the surgery was about 24 hours ago, but we're already moving the joint. It went right into the wrist joint because it was pretty deep in there. Um, some things hurt more than others. Also, anytime you have a stress like that, like yesterday in my old days, if I had gotten the surgery, I would probably worked out ahead of time. Uh, I don't know how that would act with the anesthesia. But when, you have, when your body's cut open or you have a trauma like this, even though it doesn't seem that, that big of a deal, it's a huge drain on your nervous system. So um, you look at your temperature a lot of the times after a surgery, even something minor, it'll spike to like 101, 102. Your body is under duress. It's under stress. So you got to take that into account. You don't just train through it. And as you get older, hopefully that's something you learn. Remember, when you hurt a joint, safely start moving it in whatever plane uh, you can start moving it in. And um, you'll heal much quicker, much quicker road to recovery. And as soon as I take this off tomorrow, I'll post it so you guys can see that that big alien-looking thing is no longer there. So hurt a joint, make sure you move it.